With this new dawn of X-Men, Wolverine's never been in a better place. He's never felt, dare I say it, happier. Wolverine is on the nation of Krakoa, and mutants are doing well for the first time in a very long time. So things are good for him, and that's not something he's used to. Can it last, given his lone wolf persona, given the trouble he's about to get into? Wolverine number one is a massive comic. Two stories written by Ben Percy. The first, a mutant murder mystery drawn by Adam Kubert, and the second, an old school villain throw in with Omega Red by Victor Bogdanovich. This isn't just about awesome action set pieces, although it is. It isn't just about incredible villains, though it is. It's also about Wolverine's emotional arc. Ben Percy is so excited to be writing Wolverine that he brings that to every script. It is clearly his favorite character of all time. I wrote the podcast series for Marvel, season one, The Long Night, season two, The Lost Trail, and I've been getting warmed up for this moment. Through Ben's work in, in crime fiction, in noir, we know he was a guy who could come and capture Wolverine's voice perfectly. I am truly geeked to be working with one of the most iconic artists to ever take on Wolverine, Adam Kubert. Adam Kubert has been a legend at Marvel for so long. He's done so much great work, and it's great to have him back working on Wolverine. Story number two, Victor Bogdanovich, a newer penciler to Marvel, but one who is just gonna blow the doors off of the fan community. What he's gonna bring is something that you've never seen before. Wolverine is one of Marvel's best characters, and this book brings Wolverine back to the forefront of the X-Men community. I am having so much fun bringing to life this character who, to all the fans out there, is one of the most exciting characters in the Marvel universe.